What's up guys, Tong Dub. I recently picked up an old tractor. Uh, this is a case uh, 431 diesel tractor. Um, I see a lot of potential in it. I got it for a pretty good price. Uh, the front loader uh, is not working. Everything's in good shape. The engine runs, uh, the tires are in good shape. They probably sat out in the sun for a year or so. Uh, no significant damage by the sun. And they also have um, power steering. The uh, front hydraulic pump and the mount are definitely not original. Somebody just made the uh, bracket to fit and missing a couple of parts there. Somebody took a uh, different case front loader and slapped it onto this one. That person did a few modifications just to make this thing fit onto this unit. I would like to find a box scraper and attach to this unit and maybe a tiller to connect to the PTO so I can uh, work on my garden. This is almost a complete unit and the uh, only thing it's missing is a love joy to connect to the uh, pump and maybe a couple of new hydraulic hoses. So if you've seen my old video, I had a small bowling uh, tractor with the front loader and the uh, rear box scraper. Uh, that one, it worked great and I was able to do a lot of uh, things around the yard. Uh, but sometimes when I lift heavy things, uh, it doesn't do so well. And it just takes a long time to move things around because it's smaller. This area right here is nice and clean and shiny. The hydraulic connection to the reservoir, um, the hoses was rotten out. It was leaking pretty badly onto everything. So I took it apart, replaced the hose and the connectors. Anytime I take something apart, I make sure I clean that area and paint all the parts. This way when everything's done, uh, it will be in a pristine condition. So the main reason I purchased this tractor was the uh, front loader. It will require me to do a lot of work on it just to get this thing going. And the front bucket is a little smaller. But you know, it has potential. I think I can fix it. A few months after I purchased the tractor, so I was browsing online and I discovered another front end loader that belonged to a case tractor for a very good price about an hour away. And I drove there and I got it. I mean, everything's original. This particular uh, front end loader is uh, designed either for my model or for or something real similar to it. It seemed like this uh, front end loader was just bolt onto my tractor without any modification. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I already start um, cleaning it up and paint whatever is, is rusted. And also I need to address the, uh, the two posts right here. Um, there's some crack in there. Um, so the hydraulic oil kind of leaked out a little bit. So I'm gonna need to uh, uh, grind it down and, and well whatever cracks is there. And after everything is uh, cleaned up and I will paint the whole front loader. Here's the original uh, hydraulic pump designed for this unit. And uh, so looking at the uh, rams along with the hydraulic pipes and hydraulic hoses and also the controller, they all look in very good shape. This even came with the front skid plate as well. So this hood right here belong to a different model, say 430 on it. Maybe hopefully I can uh, use some sheet metal and make it longer, make it fit for this one. Kind of hard to find old parts. So I got a new battery for it. And let's see if I can get it started so you can hear what it sounds like. I'm still not used to starting up this tractor and uh, I'm gonna get it going the first time. And after that, it just click. I think it has some corrosion or bad grounding somewhere. I do know this little trick. Uh, touching the two uh, terminal together will get the uh, starter to turn over. Silly me, the throttle got turned down toward the back. Let's try again. So far, it sounds pretty good to me. What do you think? and there's no white smoke coming from the tailpipe.
I think later on I'm gonna add a push button on it to make this taller easier. There are still many inspection and things I need to do to this tractor before I can fully use it. And since I already fixed the hydraulic uh, pump reservoir, and the next thing I want to do is remove this um, front loader. This is super heavy. Since I don't have a chain hoist, I'm not even sure how I'm gonna get this thing off. Maybe I'll remove one section at a time and do it that way. There's a guy on YouTube. Uh, he has a similar tractor. His uh, channel is uh, from steel to wood. He has some great content about fixing this kind of tractor. Okay, this is all I got about my tractor. So I'll show you more content next time. Until next time.